guys, it's Lady Rena Saru here, and whoa, I think I could back it off just a little bit. Well, there we go. Okay, hey guys, it's Lady Rena Saru here. Sorry if I blew out your eardrums, but uh, it, you see the screen. Welcome to Persona 4 Golden. <laughs> um, this has been a uh, much requested game that um has been requested for the past, like, couple of years or so. <laughs> Ever since I basically, uh, completed Persona 4, which was, like, one of the first playthroughs that I ever, ever did on my channel. But, um, uh, anyways. Uh, you can connect to the PlayStation Network, access new functions. Would you like to know more? L let me just get through this and then I'll do my little, little longer introduction. A little bit. But, anyways. Sure. The Vox Papulae, oh, Elizabeth part of this? The Vox Papulae feature allows you to see what decisions other players have made at various points in the game. Hmm, cool. The rescue request function allows other players to help you when you are in a pinch and you to help others in return. Huh, don't know what that does. These features are not available at the very beginning of the game. They will be unlocked as the story progresses. Okay. Please select a difficulty. Difficulty does not affect the story, so choose one that you'll be comfortable with. Alrighty! So, here's my little uh, introduction slash history with the Persona games. Uh, Persona is one of, like, one of my favorite RPG series of all times. And, like I said, one of my very first playthroughs that is near and dear to me to my heart was when I originally played Persona 4 for the PS2. And... As mentioned, it was like one of the first, um, one of the very, very, very first, um, games that I did on my channel. And I think I have to say that, uh, after I completed it, a lot of you guys, again, for years, has been saying, play Persona 4 Golden, play Persona 4 Golden, and for the longest time... I was going back and forth, whether or not to play it, yada yada yada. Well, finally I got the game, and I'm like, you know what, I need I need to play it. And like, I, I need to play it, and you guys have requested, and you said that there is enough... I, uh, again, I have no idea anything about Golden, I only know the base Persona 4, but you guys have said that there's enough differences to be a playthrough, so we're making a playthrough of it. Finally! <laughs> finally! Oh my god, like... You have no idea. This has been sitting on my shelf for the past, like, couple years or so, and now I finally have the power to record it. So I am. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Let's get into this. Um, also... Okay, real quick. Down in the description box, as I mentioned, because I played the original Persona 4, very, very early in my starting of my channel, uh, but I will put in the link description down below. Actually, I'll probably link all my Personas, Persona playthroughs that I've done, which is Persona Persona 4, Persona 3, FES, and Persona 4 Arena. So, and now we got Persona 4 Golden! Alrighty, so I figure since I know the game, I'm gonna choose the hard difficulty. <laughs> I, I'm not brave enough to do very hard, but um, I'll probably do hard. Because uh, when I played normal Persona 4, I played it on normal, and it was cool. Um, it wasn't that bad, so we're gonna do hard. We're gonna make we're gonna make things interesting. So, also, um, well, let me select my difficulty. Can I change? Select. Yes, we're good. we're doing it. We're going for it. Well, relax and have fun with the game. Alrighty. So, real quick. So. Here's the stipulations that I'm going to do with this playthrough. Since I... Repeating myself. I know of Persona 4. I know how it, I, I know how it works. I know how the story goes. So that is not... And also it's been many, many years since I played Persona 4. Again, the last I played was when I recorded it years ago. But anyways. So for this, I know basically the story. Um... What I don't know about Golden is gameplay, added features, this, that, blah, blah, blah. 
So, because I know the story of Persona, I figure why not make it a challenge? I'm going to go I'm going to try Sorry about that. I'm going to try and aim for a max social link run of this game. So, and if I do it, it'll be in the title uh of the whole video and all that stuff. So, yes, I will be using a guide to help me so that way I know what days, when, where, what to hang out with peeps. Um, and I gotta choose a waifu all over again. God damn it. <laughs> uh, in the original, I played, um, I played, uh, da, 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 my, uh, my girlfriend was Yukiko. Yep. Starting with the Velvet Room. Okay, so... Nothing's changed here so far. Um, but yeah, my original playthrough, I had Yukiko as a girlfriend, so, hmm. Don't know who I'm going to pursue this time. Maybe Chie? Maybe Naoto? Don't know. Margaret! It's been years! God, my, my levels of... I'm so sorry if I, like, keep blasting your eardrums. I'm gonna try and level this out as much as possible when I'm editing. Sup, Igor? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good to be back, guys. We're back. Oh my god. I never thought, well, yeah, I never thought we would be here again. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. We've met. We've gone through this, Igor. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Which I find still surprising, because technically we still have not signed that contract, so I have no idea how we did end up get here. Did I even English good? I didn't. <laughs> it may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Psst. Told I am still going with my classic name. Mugen is coming back. Sekatsu Mugen. Sekatsu Mugen. Because he'll forever be Saka um, Mugen Sakatsu in my eyes. Not what. I can't remember what his name was. I did watch the anime. Like, after I uh, beat Persona 4, I did watch the anime. The original anime. I haven't seen the golden version, because obviously I'm going in as blind as possible into this. Um. But, yeah. I can't remember what his name is. Like, what his legit name is. Hmm. I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Oh, how cool it would be. See, like, I again, since I played 4 on the PS2, it's like my, PS3, my PSN network account doesn't recognize that like I played the original and I'm like, oh, how cool would it be if like that was scripted in the game if you played the original, like the digital version on the PS3 and now you're playing this. It's like, oh, uh, you've used this name before. Welcome back or something like that. I don't know. Do you believe in fortune telling? Not 100%. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Usually. The tower! Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is...
the moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. So, no pressure whatsoever. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Again, we've known each other for years, Igor. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Well, nothing's changed so far. <laughs> to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey! What is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. <clears throat> the scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Ah. <laughs> oh. Hey, over here. Ah, oh, it's so good to be back. Uh. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Thanks. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Nice to meet ya! Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? 
This here's my daughter. <laughs> Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. Hi, Nanako. It's been so long. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? I'll be your big brother. Don't you worry. Ow. Well then, let's get going. Let's. Let's get back into this. My car's over there. Oh. Hey. You dropped this. She's new. Okay, now, now we got some newness happening. Uh, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I had a random encounter. You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. Bleh. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Oh no! Oh my god, I thought I just pulled my microphone out of the computer and I was like, well, I just fucked everything up, but it looks like everything's okay, so should be good. Hi, welcome to Mole. Oh boy. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. Huh. I'm sorry, Nanako, like, holds up the house. She could do... She could go to the bathroom by herself. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I get, this quote always confused me, and the fact is, like, well, what happens if you're left-handed? If you're, like, one of the how many percentage of people that are actually left-handed, it's like, what if you're left-handed? I know. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Doesn't he have a cigarette in his mouth already? Yeah, he does! Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. Oh, yes. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Nanako is looking at you. Are you okay? No. Did you get car sick? <laughs> you don't look too good. I'm gonna try my best. Like, because again, it's like some people may be watching this and hasn't watched the original Persona 4, so I'm not gonna give away spoilery stuff. I'll, I'll try. No, knowing my stupidity, I'm probably gonna slip, but... Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel dizzy. <laughs> You're just tired. Now just stop thinking about things! What's wrong? You okay? Also, expect a lot of quotations from the comic dub. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check it out. I just feel lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Oh, I don't think this happened. Oh, wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. I... 
got this place down pat. Unless there's something new. Oh, and we're back! <laughs> ah, we're back. Okay. Oh, hey. Have we met before? Uh, it's just your imagination. I met you. Uh, what were you doing at the station? Wasn't that, isn't that a little too invasive? Okay. I met you just now. Just now? Hmm. Okay. The girl is thinking to herself. It's the bookstore! Boy, books! Okay. Hmm. You have something to do in the shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more posh, 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 yes, posh, now I can't even words, prosperous, back in the day, we only see regulars nowadays, if only Juness hadn't come into town, it's convenient, but it's a little sad, oh, the weapon shop, fierce looking man, single mindedly pounding at something in the back of the store, you decide not to enter, because you're afraid he's gonna cut you in half, the tofu, oh, <gasps> I know you guys. Hey, do you know where my stack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was just... I was making sure to save it for later. <gasps> wow. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm gonna work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to have his sibling dispute. Dispute. You should leave him. I like the shop, it's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. It's convenient yet inconvenient and I totally get it. <laughs> ah. Dojima's waiting, you shouldn't wander off. But there's more! Don't lie to me, there's more. Da 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 do 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 do. Damn, the next bus isn't gonna come for a while, and if you miss one, you're pretty screwed. If I only had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost me about buy myself one. But I wanna go to Judas! You can't stop me! <laughs> bus schedule? It's the bus stop, you have no reason. And we got the butterfly. All right, so so far, basically the same except for her. She's new. Uh, are you okay? Nanako seems worried about you. Eh. How you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? Yes, I am. Let's hit the road. During events, you could show the conversation log by pressing select and skip events with the start button. But we're not good at these. Skip it a thing. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Oh god, I need a drink. All right. Let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thank you, Franklin. Yes, sir! No silence. I'll do just that. Good. Well, anyway, let's eat. Itaki itadakimasu! Oh, who's calling at this hour? <laughs> Dojima-san, sir, they're selling those cute little ice cream things at the Juness. I'm on the case. Dojima speaking. <laughs> I'm on the case. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? Yeah, see, this girl, like, does everything. <laughs> I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Oh, God. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? Ah, yeah. Ugh, so exciting. You can save the game by using the calendar. We're back. I can't believe it. We're back, guys. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sup, Nanako? Nanako's at a loss. You should leave her alone. Oh, we're back. Let's see. What do we got? You open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. Yeah! It has no taste at all. Strange. Sounds about right. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Boy. Yeah, I gotta look that shit, like, look that shit up. Like, making lunch and stuff. Oh, man. Oh, we're back! Ah! Oh, is my room the same? Is the room the same? This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. It's the same! You're tired. You're tired. No, I don't want to... You're tired. Oh my god, it's exactly... Oh, we're back! <laughs> Alright. Ah! Uh, 